God. Please, Cal, please. Scuff it up, Johnson. Get rid of it. Oh, my... No, no. Oh, my God. What the f is this? Yeah. Yeah. Finn's corner. Right in front of that amazing banner there. Truro. Cool. Look at that amazing banner. Come on! Yes! And what did I say? What did I say? Let's have that. I did have that. Come on! Oh my god, off camera, Peterborough scored a fourth. How can, how can they give that penalty to Barcelona the other Thursday night? The softest as possible, when that one just now was clear as day and we don't get anything. No, no! Oh my God! What a disastrous result, honestly. Charlton at home. Later. Oh, no, that's not the start we wanted. Oh, for f sake, man. Charlton chance. Hey, oh, they're, they're going for that ball. They're getting the penalty. No. They've given a bloody penalty to Charlton. I'm going to be honest. What? Right, I hope you buggers in red miss this and stuff this into my face. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, it's over. I, I ain't that close. 2 0. Oh no. That was a very good goal, to be fair, but oh no, this is terrible for us now. Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Yeah! It's 4-1. Oh, Christ. When we were 3-1, I thought we had a chance, but oh, it's 4-1 now. How can you say that? He's best keeper in the league last season, you melon. Silly Charlton. It's five. Oh my god, it's fing five. Absolute hammering. Disastrous performance. Another day at the fortress. Let's get it. Let's get back to winning ways. Big three points we need today. It's Charlton at home. Peterborough away last week was an absolute disaster. And I'll tell you what, if Peter will play like how they did against us, I hope they beat Sheffield Wednesday today. I'll go through the fixtures in a minute, but we're back at home today after an away day to forget. Charlton today, then Derby on Tuesday night, and then Barnsley next Saturday away. Three big games coming up. Come on, you greens. Look at this beautiful view. 
back home after a disaster last week and that is who we have. Let's hope we can do what we did against Portsmouth after when we lost at Hillsborough. All right, guys, so you know you know what the fixture is today. Plymouth Argyle host Charlton Athletic. I know Charlton have not done very well this year as it stands, but it is a big game no matter what. Two big clubs here in the home, at home park in the southwest of England. And, well, we've got to win after, as we all know, the absolute hammering bell blow of last week. Of last week. Um... Before I go into our fixture more, I'm just going to tell you, um, let you know what the other fixtures are. Morecambe host Bolton. Uh, you can't get more of an annoying fixture than this, but Wickham host Exeter. Burton are away to Ipswich. Portsmouth are away to Cambridge. Sheffield Wednesday are, all, are at home against Peterborough. Shrewsbury are away to Derby. Accrington Stanley are at home against Forest Green. Barnsley are away to Bristol Rovers. Cheltenham hosts Fleetwood. Port Vale hosts MK Dons. Lincoln hosts Oxford. We've got some flags today. Look at that, look at that. This is going to soak up the atmosphere for today. I mean, just that sums it up in a nutshell. It's ready for Derby on Tuesday night as well. Quality. Morecambe Bolton. Now, not going to lie, I think Morecambe, I genuinely can see Morecambe surprise Bolton. I can genuinely see Morecambe surprise Bolton today. It wouldn't shock me one bit. I'm going one all. I really think they can do something today, but I do think Connor Bradley's going to score for Ian Ebbett's side. Ipswich Burton. I'd love to see Burton get a result, but I hate to say it. I think Ipswich is going to win 2 0, no problem. They look much better than what they were in their stuttering form back in January. 2 0 tractor boys. Where's Burns to score? Right, Cambridge hosts Portsmouth. If you're both watching this, of course, Alfie, Cambridge YouTuber, adds hosts 4 0 written all over it today. Uh, I know they'll be meeting up. Uh, yeah, Cambridge host Pompey. I'd love to see Cambridge get a result. I just don't think it's going to happen. P Pompey looked very good on Tuesday night against Bolton when they beat them 3-1. I'm going to say 3-0 Portsmouth. And my scorer, I've gone for a surprising one. I have gone for Ogilvy to Pompey. So we'll see what happens about that. Sheffield Wednesday, Peterborough. I want Peterborough to do what they did last week against us against Sheffield Wednesday today I just can't see it happening especially that they drew two, um, Tuesday night against Charlton at home shows how inconsistent they are I've gone Sheffield Wednesday 5 Peterborough 3 but I've gone with a different score I have gone with a post score and it's not Clark Harris I've backed Kipriano for Peterborough so that's going to be very interesting but no I think Wednesday's going to win that no problem right so Derby Shrewsbury now I think that's going to be a tough one um See, I think Shrewsbury could give them the game, but I think Derby's going to edge it 1-0. Aaron Cashin to score their centre-back. He's one of the best centre-backs in the league, in my opinion. I think Barnsley's going to beat Bristol Rovers 3-1. Aaron Collins to score. I cannot see Rovers winning. If they do us a favour, it would be amazing. Same with Shrewsbury, but Barnsley's away record is so good at the moment. But I do think the best striker in League One, Aaron Collins, is going to score for Rovers. And But I think Barnsley's going to win 3-1 comfortably. Port Vale, MK Dons, I've gone I've gone with a 2-0 away win for MK and Lecco to score, but I think that's one of those games that could easily go either way. It's going to be one or the other, for sure. Right, I think Lincoln's going to beat Oxford 2-1. I know Lincoln are very good at drawing, but Oxford have been absolutely shocking lately. And Lincoln are at home. I think they're going to win 2-1 comfortably, but I do think Brannigan's going to score for Oxford. Nah, 2-1 Lincoln. Cheltenham Fleetwood. Now, this could be a surprising one because Fleetwood are bang on form. They are bang on form, but it wouldn't shock me if this is a goalless nil-nil draw. And that is exactly what I've gone with. Cheltenham nil, Fleetwood nil, I'm going with. But if I had to choose a scorer, I'm going to go with Mendes. I think Forest Green's going to beat Stanley 2-0 in one of my surprise fixtures of the season, scoreline-wise, because a lot of people are going to have either a draw or an Aki win. It's a relegation battle. But yeah, no, guys, I think if um, I think if there's any game that Forest Green is going to win before the end of the season, if they go down, which they most likely are, it's going to be today against Aki away. It wouldn't shock me at all. So I'm going 2 0 Forest Green. And they drew with Lincoln last week at home. So you never know. That leaves me with two fixtures now. One fixture, one is just as annoying as you can get. You cannot ask for a worse fixture than that. Wick and post Exeter. And I've genuine, this is not just me being biased, I've gone with a 0 0 draw. But yeah, Wickham Exeter, 0-0. If I had to choose a scorer, I'm going to go Archie Collins for the for the scum. So, 
Not that I really want to, but I don't really want I don't really want to predict anyone for that fixture anyway. Like I said, you can't get more of an annoying fixture than that. No 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 not draw, not just because I can see it happening and that Bloomfield side lost to Shrewsbury last week, but also I'm just deliberately a bit biased as well, so I can genuinely see it happening in general. But anyway, that leaves us on to Argyle versus Charlton. Argyle versus the Addicts. And I'm going with a 2 0 Argyle win. I think we will bounce back from last week. Charlton's away form isn't exactly the greatest, but they might give it tough for us. They gave it tough for us in the Papa John's Trophy, but I think we're going to win 2 0. Finners has to score. So I guess that leaves it. And, well, we've got a game to look forward to, haven't we? So the one thing I can say at the end of this introduction really is if I can get the green scarf up, actually, yeah, actually, no, I will do that. I will do that. Because the badge is right here. So. Oh, Brad's in the vlog. Oh yeah, hey, Captain Joy. Here we are. Love Joy. So the one thing I can end today, uh, this intro with, is up the Janners, up the Greens, up the Argyle, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Let's get back to winning ways today. Come on, lads. <laughs> Score prediction. Uh, to be fully honest, before the game, I'd have gone about. Oh, I don't know. I'd have, I'd have, I'd have gone that you'd smash us. Yeah. Or that we'd have gone like parallel. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? That we'd have either gone like 2 2, or we'd have gone like maybe, I don't know, about, about 1 0. Or, or maybe, I don't know. But you know what Fair I'm saying? No, no, no I know, so, I know like, what you're saying. I yeah, know what you're saying. saying. Yeah, yeah. You'd either smash us or we'd, we'd come close. Raksaki. Raksaki. You got uh, Dobbo. Yeah, Dobson, yeah. Uh, maybe. Well, I think he's been your best player Be this season. Yeah, yeah 100%. Play. You got you got Beckett Taylor yeah. as well. He's up there. Yeah. Uh, Lee Byrne, yeah. he's another one of our good players. But you know we're we're Charlton, aren't we? So you can never be hundred percent, can you? You know. Can you there. give us your favourite Charlton chant? Uh, Valley for it, bro. Hundred percent. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hundred percent Valley for it. Nah, bro. that makes sense. Nah, cheers for coming on, Brad. Straight no, honestly. Mate. All right, guys, we got we got Daniel, another Charlton fan here. Score prediction. Um, I, I don't know. I, I wanted Charlton to win, but I knew I'll go. I was going to go to draw, a nil-nil. A nil-nil Fair nil enough, draw. that would have been a good point yeah. for you guys. Well, it a terrible point for us. Raksaki, the winger. Raksaki. He, I, I think he's like our top goal scorer this season. Yeah. And he's in, he was in form. I will be honest, I thought he was going to miss today yeah. after the Peterborough incident. But, um, uh, but, we got both off very lucky with that. Yeah, no, I really thought yeah. he was going to... He sh in my honest opinion, he should have been sent yeah. off. Could you give us uh, your favourite Charlton chant? Dean Olden's red or me. Right, seven minutes into the game. Here we go then. Come on, you greens. Come on, Mumba. Come on, Mumba. Come on, Bali. Oh, that's unlucky. We got a corner. We got a corner. Argyle. And there's the travelling Charlton fans. I knew. I knew they'd bring a lot. Maybe not so much as Wednesday in Ipswich, but I knew they'd bring a lot. Honestly, anyway, Azaz has got a corner. We've got a corner. Who is playing anyway? Burton, Azaz. Anyway, come on, Finn's taking it. Ah! Oh! Hardy's playing. Go on! Thank God for that. Okay. Wilson, Hardy, Mayer, Mumba, Azaz, Butcher, Houghton. Wilson's there. Come on, Mumba. Burton. Galloway. Galloway's back. Burton, Galloway, Gillespie, Edwards, Mumba, Azaz, Hardy, Wilson. Mayor. Azaz is taking the corner. Another corner for us. Butcher's there and Houghton's there. Yeah, that's our 11. No, no. Hey! Galloway's got to deal with Raksaki here. Our oh, members slipped. That's Dobson. No 
one there. No one there. Or as that would have been 1-0. Raksaka tried to cross it and Charlton still got it. They've just missed a sitter. Right, Charlton's got a corner. That's a clear foul. It's Danny's, it's Danny's. Take him on, take him on. Probably Anthony Taylor in disguise. Come on, boys, we need to get rid of it. Thank you, thank you. Come on, yes, take him on, forward. Get him, Ryan, come on, Ryan, come on, Ryan, come on. I've just hit my back. Shoot! Oh, that's so unfortunate. Charlton's defence got there in time. What a tackle by Butcher. What a tackle. Oh, this is what we need. There's only one thing I don't want from this game. I don't want a Charlton 5-1 win. We all remember what happened in August. We all remember what happened in August. I was there, first away day of the season, battered at the Valley. Come on, Mumba, get past him. Re well, advantage has gone our way anyway. 23 minutes into the game. Right, here's Mayer. Butcher! Oh, that's so unlucky. Joe's kept it in, though. Azaz, oh, Charlton's defence is there again. Come on! Come on! Finish it off, finish it off, mate! No! No, 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 no. It's Timo Werner FC. As much as I love Timo. Anyway, Argyle's got a corner. We've got a corner. Azaz is taking it again. Right in front of the Charlton fans. The travelling Charlton fans. Come on, boys! Oh, no, we're not taking it yet. Charlton fans would call that time-wasting. Or away fans in general. Played it short. <sighs> Edwards and Mumba working together. That's good tackle by Sean Clare. Come on! Come on, Ryan, please. Oh my God! Another missed chance. Another one. We just cannot find the back of the net. Corner FC. Come on! Keep it out, yes! No! Are you taking the pick? It's a handball anyway. So now we got a corner instead. If we if we if we score this though, we can forget about this all. Woo! 
We've sang this chant every, nearly every game now this season. Another corner for Pitt to take. I'm not looking forward. I am not looking forward to what the other scores are. I don't know what they are, but we have got a lot of work to do in the second half. Such a bang average game between both sides, to be fair. We've just wasted so many chances. It's Fleetwood all over again. Oh, we've got work to do in the second half. and We've got to be clinical. To try and hit the crossbar. For um, God's sake, Plymouth Argyle nil, Charlton Athletic nil. I'm very frustrated. Fleetwood all over again as it stands. Liam, gone. What's your thoughts so far? We've dominated them. We have dominated them. I agree. Basically, what Connor said that when Derby played them, they looked awful. Yeah, they don't look great at all. They, they had what I thought they had one good shot. That was it. They can't hit a barn door, really. Their shots are going all over the place. Yeah, they're, um, yeah. They're there for the taking, really. I mean, get the first goal, we should be fine. Our best player so far? Hardy. Mixed so far because we're drawing and the two behind us are winning. Bolton and drew. one of them, and one of them, we're playing on Tuesday night Bolton is winning. Drew. Thank God, Bolton drew. So. Wednesday and Barnsley both drawing so far and we got to go to Barnsley next week yeah, at the two, moment. 2-0 two still. Still 2-0, okay. Two nil. Cool. Well, we both said 2-0 anyway, so yeah. Come on, let's do it. Up the channels. Right, let me show you guys. Oh my God. That's good news, Bolton Drew. That is very good news, Bolton Drew, Bolton. For God's sake. For God's sake. We got a second half coming. Come on, the boys. Big second half coming. Come on. Justin! Justin! I missed the freaking goal, no! Immediately, Liam's got it spot on. Oh, 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 oh. oh gosh! Yes! Amazing! Stupid Q! Oh yes, come on! Right, well unfortunately I missed the goal, but we're one new up. Come on the boys! Up the football league we go! Unfortunately I missed the goal because I thought I'd get a pass in time. Wrong! We're one new up, I feel more comfortable now. Come on, let's make it two. Yes, Plymouth did score. Just heard someone in the background saying, Plymouth scored! Come on! Well, Ryan is a legend. Hardy's on fire. I swear to God, if Raksat equalises now, I'm going to be fuming. I mean, what is this? Thank God. He predicted it spot on. Get a goal early. That's exactly what we did. So this is what it is, the chant. Nah, 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 nah. Liam's at the wheel, at the wheel. Liam's at the wheel and he's right there with his good old glasses and coat. Goal! Nearly two, nearly two. Right, nearly two, Ryan again. Oh my God, no, 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 no. Charlton. What a performance. 
what a performance from Ryan today. I'd actually argue. Number 16, Sam Cosgrove. I'd actually argue that this is Ryan's best performance of the season so far. Hardy's been phenomenal today. Always believing! Imagine if he gets the second. It's the perfect striker's day. Callum! Make it two! Yes! What are we freaking saying? Hardy oh, absolutely deserves I, I Like I said, I'd argue that's been his best game of the entire season so far. We're actually rocking it. Such a vital win this could be on my dad's birthday. Charles and aren't loving it. Good, good. This was needed after the disaster of last week. Oh my God. Get him. What a win, what a win. Hardy's on fire. That is such a vital win. Fair play to the Charlton fans that stayed, not the ones that left early when we went 2-0 no up. Imbeciles. Deserves it. What can I say? That's his best game of the season. I'm not joking. That is Ryan Hardy's best game of the season. Phenomenal game for him. So there we are. It ended Plymouth Argyle 2, Charlton Athletic 0. That's a vital win. That is a vital win. So you know what's coming now. You know what's coming now, and he deserves it. Hardy's on fire! Hardy's on fire! Hardy's on fire! Hardy's on fire! I 
I think, I think it's eight wins now till promotion. I think it's just eight wins to go. Big game against Derby on Tuesday night. Massive game against Derby on Tuesday night. We can forget 5-1 now. That's so much better. Oh, what a win. Look at the lad. Oh, this is Jesse. If we win on Tuesday night now, if we win on Tuesday night now, it's massive. Look at that. Look what we have on Tuesday night. A massive game. If we win that, that is so important. Jetson! Oh my god, yes! Come on, Shrewsbury! Oh my god, Darby and Shrewsbury touring! That's got me confident for Tuesday night now. Come on, come on! Full time, Argyle 2, Charlton Athletic 0. Um, I'm joined by I'm joined by Brad, Charlton fan here. Mate, yeah, how are you feeling after that? Uh, well, I don't know, best way to put it, really. Yeah, well, no, fair enough. I will be honest, I thought we dominated the whole game and Hardy had, his, um, had the best performance of his whole season so far. But I guess from our point of view, that makes up for, uh, that makes up for the, um, well, the, the defeat we had at the Valley. I was at the Valley back in yeah, August. Yeah, we got yeah. hammered 5-1. So was I, mate. I was yeah. at the Valley. Next week, you got Accrington Stanley at home. Yeah, I think you'll bounce back. I'm going to that one. I think you'll bounce back. Oh, Atkins is Sandy, aren't Yeah, no, right. fair enough. We, we, we bounce back from that. We can do all right. Nah, it makes sense. Uh, yeah. Is it really for Charlton as it stands? Just a season written off, just focus on next season now. It is at the point. It Another is season in League One. Once, once we get to that, probably about... Once we get to about 75% through the season, yeah, yeah. then it's kind of like, you know what? We'd either lose this or win this. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, makes sense, makes sense. But, you know, how are you feeling after that? No, we, there's nothing I can say. Honestly. No, fair enough, words. fair enough. We had the chances, we just didn't take, and then the second goal, sloppy defending and scored. Yeah, it's simple. No, it makes you, sense. You can tell why you're so high in the table. Yeah, no, it's fair enough. Defending. I will admit, after that, I said to myself, I can forget about that 5 1 yeah. Valley defeat now back mm -hmm. in August. I went to it, and we were shocking that day. <laughs> we never on, win at I'm the Valley. I'm trying to hold on to it. We've I come bet here twice and lost. If this was the valley right now, we would have lost 2 0 today. Probably. So we never win yeah. there. We never <laughs> win there. <laughs> so all that really. But um, despite your defeat today, anyone that you thought played really well for you guys today? Um, when they come on, Lee Burn and Carney up top the front two. We changed See, formation. I, you know what? I thought when your subs came on, you were better. Yeah, we, we changed to a 4 4 2. Played Lee Burn and Carney up top and we were so better. Because I thought we yeah. dominated the first half, but we yeah. just couldn't finish. Yeah. But. Hardy's just proven that I personally yeah. think that's his best game of the season so far. Yeah. So, that, so it's brilliant with that. Yeah. Really. It was end to end. In the middle of the game, it was end to end. Yeah. And then as it come towards the end, yeah. when you got you got hold of the game, yeah. who did you bring on? Wright, I think it was, and Ennis, and Cosgrove up top. And then yeah, you, Callum Wright, Ennis yeah. and Cosgrove. Then you, that's dominated the, you dominated the game again. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Is there anyone? Was there anyone for us that you thought stood out for us? Hardy, today, apart from Ryan. Yeah. The whole defence. Yeah, fair the enough. Defense, the defence have they're not like our defence. They actually have communication. Know what they're doing. Yeah. Our defence does not have that one bit. Oh right. Because even at the home games when we go, they yeah. get they pass the ball away, then lose it. Where do you think Charlton's going to finish come end of the season? Um, 14. 14. 14. So a, a, a position lower than last season then with yeah. 13th. Yeah. Guess, guess really just got to rebuild and yeah. start again next season next then, isn't it? Next season will be a massive rebuild again. Yeah. We're back at the lovely Taverners again. Full time. Up Plymouth the, Argyle 2. Plymouth Argyle 2. Up the Greens. Charlton Athletic 0. We're joined by Leon. Up the Greens. Big Argyle fa fan here. Mate, how are you feeling after today? Buzzing, mate. Honestly. Really scrappy first half, but we got the job done in the second half. Well, it was a really good Completely game. Agree. Half. Completely agree. Check I control, thought got a job done. Unpopular opinion, but I thought personally that was Hardy's best performance of the season so far, bar none. Do you agree or disagree? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant, mate. Led the line really, really well. Thought it was quality, mate. Honestly, yeah. took his goal really well. And then, yeah, as you say, subs come on late in the second half, took control, got no. the job done. That's fair enough. Was there anyone that was your man of the match, or was it Hardy? Well, I think Ryan Hardy for his goal, obviously, and then he led the line really well in the first half. 
and then subs come on second half took control as well and he got the job done yeah no that's fair enough is there anyone for charlton that stood out for you today um Raksaki stood out yeah but he shouldn't have been playing in the first place to be honest with you no i agree uh, after, of that, oh, that peter well, charlton game yeah after his antics tuesday night, yeah after his antics on tuesday he should have been on the pitch but you know can't control that but i thought he dealt with him really well and you know, obviously he didn't influence the game in the end but yeah. he looked dangerous so no, that makes sense. Before the game, what was your score prediction? Believe it or not, 2 0 Argo. That same as me, same so, as me. I mean, we, we both got it right. We both got it we, right. We got the job done in so the there end. There we are. And who did you have down to score today? Um, well, if he was starting, Ryan Arley. He started, he scored standard. You got a spot on then, mate. Last month, he's been quality, mate, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. I couldn't. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. Honestly. Uh, so confident now for Derby Tuesday night. Well, it's gonna. It's gonna be a tough game. They got some good players. David McGoldrick. Yeah. Obviously, he's above this level in my opinion. Connor Hurahan, obviously returning to Home Park. Should be. Uh, should be interesting. But hopefully we play like this today. Another three points or even a point. I'll take a point, mate. To be honest with you. Yeah. At this stage. But. Fair enough, yeah. Point or three points, we'll take it. We've got two hard games coming up. Derby, Barnsley. Confident for now, those two. <coughs> if we, even yeah. if two points at this stage, I mean, yeah. they're tough games. Do you know what I mean? No, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Playoffs or in the playoffs, we'll take that. That makes sense, that makes sense. Um, Where do you have Argyle to finish come end of the season? After today, second. Second, definitely I think second. I'll run in, mate. Think we'll beat Wednesday or do you think we'll settle for seconds? I think we'll finish second. Okay, I think fair they, they, they're, they're too good for us, in my opinion. I think they'll win the league. Fair enough. But with our run in of fixtures, we've got three games at home towards the end of the season. We'll get the job done and we'll finish second. That makes sense. No and problem. before we finish, can you give us your uh, can you give us uh, your favourite Argyle chant? Favourite Argyle chant? Yes. Oh, goal and massive. Join in, mate. Yeah. Everywhere there we, we go. go. Oh, goal and massive. Everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. That's the spirit of oh, no, Thank you for that. And that was filmed yeah, by Kate Janner. Nigel, Plymouth 2, Charlton 0. How do we feel about that, mate? I thought in the first half we was a bit slow in uh, passing the ball, but in yeah. the second half we thought we was more, much more uh, direct and much more quicker. Yeah, fair enough, fair and enough. I, I thought I we deserved more than the 2 0. Couldn't agree more, couldn't agree more. I personally thought that was Hardy's best game this season so far. Would you agree? I agree. Yeah, fair enough, fair but enough. But now again, I thought we're calling him good. Gillespie had a good game. Yeah, no, no, no Gillespie did have a good game. Roger was, Roger was saying that as well, that he had a good game. Gillespie had a superb game, I thought. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree, I completely agree. Um, Before the game, what was your score prediction? I said 3-0. 3-0? More confident than me, fair enough. That's how confident I was. Don't blame you. Because we had to get him. our own back on them. Oh, yeah, after the battle, yeah, and I was there, and I had to witness us getting battered. Uh, yeah. And uh, was there anyone, who did you have on the score sheet? I reckon Ryan Hardy would have done it. Ryan Hardy, yeah, yeah. and I, you got a spot on anyway. I, I thought the way he played, it was a bit of a pest at the front, in the front line. Yeah, no, it makes so sense. Trot, trot that's, that's fair enough. Was there anyone for Charlton you were worried about coming into today? Uh, uh, number eight. Oh, number eight, yeah. I think that's Macaulay Bond. Yeah. Uh, I'll, um, I'll quickly do research yeah. on that later on. But yeah, fair enough, fair yeah. enough. Um, where do you think we'll finish now, come end of the season? Second. Second now. It was top a month ago, but... <laughs> Again, you never I agree, I agree. Everyone keeps going on saying, oh, Wednesday's definitely going to do it now. It only takes one slip up and things change. Because we're still three points behind them. Yeah, exactly, we are. And they beat Peterborough 1-0 today as well. Uh, nah, no, I think we will get, I, I still think we will get automatics come end of the season. Yeah, I want, I want the automatic. But we all do, don't we? Yeah. We all do. It's what all this club needs. After 13 years of waiting... For sure, but no, that's you confident out for Derby Tuesday night yeah, after that. Yeah, yeah, same, same. And they drew two all at home with Shrewsbury today. Yeah. So even better, even better. Um yeah, that's that pretty much sums it up really nice. Woohoo! Let's go! Back to winning ways. Much more like it, much more like it. We're back to winning ways. That Peterborough defeat now is long gone and now we've got two big hard games coming up to prepare for 
Derby County at home and Barnsley away on Saturday. Going to be very, very, very interesting. We don't know what's going to happen, but we're so nearly there. I think it's now just eight wins to seal automatic promotion. About eight wins, I believe. And eight wins, we get to 27 wins as well. No, 29 wins. But I think it's eight wins now for automatic promotion. We're so nearly there. We're so nearly there. Or so, maybe nearly there. April, we should so nearly be there by then. But, oh, I'm so buzzing for Tuesday night. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Like I've said already, like I've said already um, from the entire of this video, of this match that we've had today, that we've had against Charlton, that was bar none Ryan Hardy's greatest performance of the season, in my opinion. He was absolutely superb from start to finish, from start to finish. And no wonder he gets my man of the match. Gillespie had a very good game as well. The whole team was much better than what we saw at Peterborough last week. Hardy, though, was just absolutely exceptional. And no wonder he's on fire. He's been in brilliant form lately. Charlton were bang average. Charlton were bang average. I thought they were better when their subs came on. Blackett, Taylor, Leeburn, Carnu. But other than that, and other than Dobson and one of Charlton's centre-backs, Michael Hector, I didn't think they laid a glove on us. I thought they were shocking. Uh... We dominated the whole game and we thoroughly deserved the three points and are much happier than what I was the week before at Peterborough. Unfortunately, Sheffield Wednesday did beat Peterborough 1-0, but still three points the gap and we're still five points in front of Ipswich in third. They're looking on, on our tails though, they're looking on form, they thrashed Burton 4-0, but the main thing is... Bolton, Derby and Barnsley all slipped up over the weekend, which is great news for us. So we're pushing further away from the playoffs. Uh, Ipswich are really like the main ones close to us now. And of course, on Saturday, Bolton and Ipswich have each other at the Uni Bowl in what is a massive game for them both. Could potentially decide the season. The same between us and Derby on Tuesday night. Oh, such a massive game. It is such a massive game. And it's on Sky as well. So no wonder it's going to be massive. But honestly, that weekend made me feel a lot happier seeing all that. Um, the scores at the end were Morecambe 0, Bolton 0, Ipswich 4, Burton 0, Cambridge 0, Portsmouth 1, Sheffield Wednesday 1, Peterborough 0, Derby 2, Shrewsbury 2. Bristol Rovers nil, Barnsley nil, Port Vale one, MK Dons nil, Lincoln one, Oxford nil, Cheltenham one, Fleetwood nil, Accrington Stanley two, Forest Green one, Wickham one, Exeter one, and then of course Plymouth Argyle two, Charlton nil. That was a big, big win, and now we've got a big test in Derby County on Tuesday night. Conor Hurahan is returning to his former club. But can Sam Cosgrove do it again like he did at Pride Park? And that's what we're all hoping for. Ah, oh, big game, big game. I can't wait. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hardy, I love you. You're on fire. What a performance today, mate. Honestly, well done. Superb performance. And Liam called it, you know. Liam called it. He said straight after half time that we'd score immediately. And that we should score immediately. And we did. So you know what that means? Da -da 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 -da. Liam's at the wheel. At the wheel. Liam's at the wheel. Da -da 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 -da. Liam Martin's at the wheel. At the wheel. Liam Martin's at the wheel. So yeah, there you heard it. Oh, I can't wait for Tuesday. I cannot wait for Tuesday. Massive game against Derby. Oh, doesn't get any bigger than that. And then this. Derby and Barnsley, and then we've got the on-paper easy run, apart from, well, I guess apart from the Derby against the Buggers in April, but hopefully we'll thrash them 6-1, 7-1. Ah, oh, cheers for tuning in, guys. We'll see you for the massive Derby game against Derby County themselves. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. 
Come on, you boys in green. Make sure you like and subscribe. Take care. Cheerio. When they pull on the green, they're all janners.